Hi guys, this is Jeremy from Duster3D. In this video, let me introduce a new feature which is being heavily developing at the moment. That's the cross simulation. If you have been following my Twitter, I have posted before about a feature called Grid Mesh. That's my initiative to solve the cross mesh generation. And uh, unfortunately, it's not so good. And uh, that feature may be removed from the code base in the future. So, so let's focus on the cross simulation. What's the cross simulation and why we need it? Cross mesh is very trivial to manually mod it. There are two kinds of forces affect the deformation of the mesh. The first one is the spring force. Another one is the gravity. Of course, uh, you can sculpt the deformation uh, in another software such as Blender or ZBrush to make the details of the cross texture, but it's time consuming. Most of the software comes with a cross simulation the advantage of this feature in Dust 3D is that it's very easy to use. You make a rough cross shape and choose the component layer as cross. And tweak the settings such as the uh, stiffness. I will add more parameters here, but I will keep it as simple as possible. And the main body is automatically calculated, uh, collide with the cross. Uh, you don't need to specify the collide target. The cross uh, simulation is based on the work of Seme Itani. He implemented a single graph paper called Fast Simulation of Mass Spring Systems. Currently, it takes several seconds to finish the cross simulation. Consider the whole process, including the instant remesh of the original cross mesh and the collider target auto calculation and the mass rain simulation and the post processing of the simulated result, such as UV unwrapping. So the speed uh, is almost okay. Some of the steps are already being optimized by using the Intel threading building blocks parallel programming tricks. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is the mesh looks like without cross simulation? We choose the layer as body, so it's kind of normal mesh. And uh, see, it's still uh, remeshed, so turn off the remesh also, instant remesh. So basically, it's the rough cross mesh. With the simulation turned on, it's very easy to make a real cross like mesh. The texture uh, of the cross is downloaded from the awesome free PBR website. Uh, it's 3dtextures.me. Okay, uh, in this video, we have talked about the next coming function of Dust 3D, the cross simulation. Last time, we talked about integrated instant meshes to do the remesh. Both the instant meshes and the fast mass spring libraries are well implemented, and it definitely will make Dust 3D different. This is the future preview video, and please subscribe and share this video to your friends. Also, you can leave comments to our discourse form or post to GitHub issues. The comment section of YouTube is not turned off by myself. It's disabled by YouTube because I have said my content is case friendly. Thanks and see you next time.